What is up guys, Morton here bringing guys a brand new video, Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. And this video is not recorded on my Canon G7X because it died. Um, right now, the battery set is charging. So I'm recording on my phone, my new phone. Um, so uh, I'm sure it'll look good because iPhone 12 shoots in really good video. You know, this is the front camera, not the uh, dual camera on the back. But anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here to listen to my topic about Derek Carr to Washington. I wonder if something happened. Has something happened? If you're not connected, if you're connected and you know nothing has happened, at least not at the recording of this video, because this video is recorded on Wednesday prior to the Monday that this is uploaded. So there are trade rumors that we are going after Derek Carr. Now, if you heard me in my 2021 preview video, you know that I was a big fan of Stafford to DC. Sadly, um, that didn't happen. He's going to the Rams, and that deal that happened, oh, my gosh, that deal. Oh, my goodness, that deal. I mean, the Lions absolutely just stole everything from the Rams. I know Matt's a good QB, but the Lions won that deal. That that was a trade that I was like, really? Really? Okay. Sure. Um, When I saw that, I'm like, Okay, that's that's what you call a good trade. Whew. Okay, I'll take your word for it. It wasn't Washington giving that away. It almost was. So. Um, but and I, and and I know you're talking about well, what about Deshaun Watson? Trust me, there's gonna be a video about Deshaun Watson. There's a lot of stuff already made for it. Here's the deal with Deshaun Watson. There's a lot we'd have to give up for that. And I don't know if I want us giving away as much as we would need to, but. The stuff that I think we can give, we can afford to give away, I will cover in a whole separate video. But this video is only on Derek Carr from the Las Vegas Raiders. I like it. I, I would be very happy with him in D.C. I really like Derek Carr. I've always um, thought he was a really good ball, ball manager, um, can really read the defense better than a lot of QBs can. I think that's something a lot of analytic um, analysis miss. I think they miss how good he actually is at um, reading defenses. And, you know, I just think he hasn't always had the greatest group of receivers or always the best coaching. And I am taking a little shot at John Gruden. I don't think he's the coach he used to be. Do I think he's a bad coach? Heck no. You're not – you cannot be a bad coach and be an NFL coach. Then you can have your bad – you can have your – not as good coaches, but I don't think you can have your bad coaches. I think there's a fine line. I don't think he's been as good as he used to be. I think he's overhyped. I think um, they think too much of him, to be honest with you. And it's maybe spiteful because we I've had to deal with his brother, who I have met. I love talking to Jay. I love talking to Jay Gruden. He is absolutely great to talk to, great person. But as a head coach... Meh. I mean, he wasn't terrible, but there were a lot of things that he did not do that in the one year Rivera's been our head coach, he has done astoundingly better with building the culture, building this drive to win, which we didn't have before. And I think Derek Carr has shown that Derek Carr shows the heart that Derek Carr plays with is unmatched. When I watch this game, I love it because he is so passionate about everything that happens on the field. I just, I'm in awe watching it. And I would love for Derek Carr to be in a Washington jersey next year. You know, a lot of fans are like, well, we want Taylor Heineke, we want Kyle Allen, we want Alex Smith. And I'm like, well, that's good. I like them too. If any of them, if any of all three of them, that's fine. But I'm ready to win. If you're a Washington fan, you should be ready to win. We don't need. I'm with myself because I'm going to contradict something I said because I said I would like to see Heineke. All right, here's my thing. I would love to see Heineke, but I also want to win. And to win, we need somebody that's developed. We need somebody that's proven themselves to be a high-caliber quarterback. And Derek Carr has proven that multiple times. Now, does he have his setbacks? Yes. Does he have his flaws? Yes. But every quarterback has his flaws. But Derek Carr just shows a sign of consistency that I don't think we've had and we need. We need somebody that's durable. Yes, he gets injured time to time, but he, a lot of times he'll play through that injury if he can. Unless he breaks his leg and he can't play. Jack Del Rio, I think he and Derek Carr got along very well. And even though they, they're they on two totally opposite sides of the ball, I think just having Jack in the building 
Um, because you know, he and Derek got along well, unless I missed something or I'm not remembering something. So I would think that would be a really just kind of like, hey, buddy, what's up? You know, um, I really like it. Um, there's a bunch of rumors about how we could uh, go about trading for Derek. Um, there's a usual trade between two teams, and then there's the three way trade. I'm not going to get into that because that's a lot of logistics that I personally um, am not um, educated enough on to where I will cover it. Um, I'm just knowing, I know it's a possibility, so I'm going to throw it out there that it is a possibility we can go into a three way trade with um, and possibly get Derek. Um, what am I willing to give up for Derek? Um, first rounder, for of course. I think a first and a third rounder. I know we really hit the hit the iron hot in the third round, but I think Derek is worth a first and a third, or a first and then a twenty two pick, twenty twenty two pick. I think um, he's worth it because he showed signs. Of, he has led a team to the playoffs. He's done it. He hasn't necessarily done it a couple times, but he gotten very close, and I, it's not really his fault that they don't make it. Um, the defense this year was really, I think, what held him back. I think they would have been a playoff team if they had better coaching on defense and more talent there. But the lack of talent there really hurt them. But I think um, Derek Carr could be the next QB to Washington. I think D.C. to D.C., D.C. to D.C. I mean, how perfect is that? You know, you got... Um, Washington Watson. That's what I called Deshaun. And it, or you could have DC to DC, DC's DC. You know, DC's Derek Carr. You know, it's it's um it's really fun to think about. Um, but like I said, I I really like Derek Carr as a quarterback. He's really smart. Um, he doesn't get enough credit for what he can do, and I really want to see him succeed. I really do. I think. He's a very good quarterback that just needs the right coaching to get him there. And I think with what we saw from our quarterbacks this year is there was a lot of good coaching from um, Ken, was it uh, Ken Zampezi? I think that's his name, and Scott Turner really um, had Taylor Heineke, Kyle Allen, and Alex Smith ready for games. Dwayne Haskins, I think they prepared him. I think that was on Dwayne Haskins for why those games with him didn't turn out as well as they should have. Um, but you know he's in. Pittsburgh now, so best of luck to him. Um, but I think Derek Carr to D.C. makes the most sense of all the quarterbacks on the market right now. Um, I could see the Raiders going with a new quarterback to soft season and make it even easier. It will be out of the conference. makes it easier. So if you're a fan, you should really want Derek Carr to D.C., I think. Um just watch his highlights. Just spend a few minutes. Watch the highlight videos. His decision making is superb at times. Uh, he's so impressive with just the way he handles the football. And he's he's not mobile, but he can be mobile if he needs to. He can get out the pocket. He can he can stretch out the play, which is what we need. Uh, that's what we really need. And that's what Taylor Heineke did, which is why that game was so successful. But we don't know what Taylor Heineke's skills are in the long term. I think we know what we're getting in Derek Carr. I think there's more to unlock. I think there's more potential that he hasn't even reached yet. So anyway, that's my opinion on that. So I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Sure, thank you so much for watching Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Uh, make sure to check out all the links below. Make sure to check out the other episodes of Washington Station. And I'm Morris, and I'm out.